I do not know how many people have this phenomenon happening to them, but it happens to me. I have dreams that continue where I left them last. And what is special about them is that they feel so real, as real as real life. I can taste, I can feel, I can smell. I have dreams that never end, in which I am a different person in each one of them, in a similar world but different, when I can connect to them. I would like to know who else can in motor dream too. Can you do this too? Because I know, I am not the only one. Imagine flavors that you have never tried. Flavors that do not exist on this world. Imagine on skills that will take you a lifetime to learn. One of your questions might be, how can I tell which world is the real one? In each immortal dream, the one I'm in, I always think is the real one. After all, I got loved ones on each one of them. I will never intentionally hurt one of my loved ones. On my immortal dreams, how much information do I retain? I don't have full memory on any of my mortal dreams until I am in them. Neither I have full memory about this reality until I wake up. How real are they? They are as real as this reality. My body has reacted to immortal dreams. I bruise in, but completely disappear when the day goes by. I would love to teach this skill, but first, you will need to learn lucid dreaming. I will tell you the truth, what no other will tell you about lucid dreaming. First, lucid dreaming is not for everyone. You could try all your life and never succeed in lucid dreaming. I will try to simplify to give you a better chance to succeed. There's not only one way to learn lucid dreaming. Everyone is unique. Everyone is different. What works for one might not work for the next person. Everyone's way of dreaming is unique to themselves. No brain is the same regardless of the similarities. Your brain is your brain alone. My reason for lucid dreaming was because I was being terrorized by nightmare in a daily basis. I teach myself a way to get out of nightmares, out of the need. These are some assumptions of dreaming that you cannot taste, that you cannot smell, that you cannot feel the touch. The pictures might be blurry, the numbers may appear out of order, the words may appear misspelled. Lose these assumptions if you're trying to learn lucid dreaming. Do you know you can learn in dreams? If you have a question, ask yourself that question many times during the day. And before you go to sleep, ask yourself that question again many times. Try to solve that question while you are awake. So when you're dreaming, you do the same. Ask people when you are awake to help you to solve this question. This will encourage you to ask people in a dream. And if you can lucid dream, ask people to help inside the dream. Like I said, everyone is unique and dreaming can be as real as real life. Taste may be the same, taste may be different or no taste at all. Same one smell or looking at pictures or looking at numbers or looking at words. These are the most common ways to lucid dreaming according to online descriptions for lucid dreaming. I will tell you my way at the end. Keep a dream journal, write down every dream, every time, after each dream. That might help, it helped me. Remember my dreams, chanting a few words to encourage yourself. Meditation, repeat the same phrase to yourself every night before you go to sleep. Writing numbers or words in your hand to wait in a dream to see them change. Pushing a body part through an object or through yourself. Looking at an item like a clock or a familiar picture and expecting it to change. Forcing yourself to wake up with alarms and going back to sleep to force RAM sleep, doing reality checks, 
Again, these are online instructions of how to lose the dream, not my own. I used to repeat these words to myself, am I dreaming right now? And then try to change something around me. I caught myself saying those exact words inside my dreams. And then realizing I was dreaming. The first time I realized I was dreaming was when I created a sword for the first time. And say, wow! I was around eight at a time. I also fantasize just before going to sleep to encourage the lucid dreaming. What if I was a superhero? Yes, of course, I try flying. What if I live in a land of elves? What if I won the lottery? What if I was a famous person? And so on. I believe I started in more dreams in my 20s. When I was trying to make my dreams more real, I started taking all the fantasy out. Try lucid dreaming. I believe in you. Subscribe if you like. Hit the bell icon. Thumbs up or thumbs down.